Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am super pumped that football season is finally back. DraftKings puts you right in the middle of the action. Now, every week, DraftKings has millions of dollars up for grabs, and it's free for new users if you use my promo code FASTERPROMS. DraftKings is extremely easy to use and to navigate. If you guys are new to fantasy football, you draft nine players. That's one quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, one tight end, one flex, and one defensive player. But be careful, they all have to fit under your salary cap. You get fantasy points for touchdowns, field goals, yards, and so, so much more. Download DraftKings and enter daily fantasy football contests all season long with millions in prizes. So guys, don't miss out. Use my promo code FASTERPROMS during sign-up in order to get a free shot at millions of dollars in prizes with your first deposit. Now, let's get on to the video. Oh, Benny, today's the day, brother. Heck yeah. All right, so guys, we got Armiata, we got Ben's B. We guys saw this the other day here, this guy right here. We're gonna try and see if we can go bottom tens with that. This guy right here also, we're looking for bottom tens, so I'd like to see that happen. I just gotta get that 60 foot. Hopefully we got all of our issues resolved. And down over yonder is old Cleeter boy. You're gonna give her a nice little once over. And it might take me a number of different passes to figure out how to get this thing to go down the track. I had the old combination and this is a whole new one to figure out, so. Pray for me. Obviously, but yeah, how'd you feel? I went slower than you, I went 11 0. Yeah, dude, we're still figuring it out, man. How was your 60 foot? 1 8. Yeah, so yeah, I went 25. Yeah, what was yours? I went a 179 and it bogged really bad. Honestly, I'm really, oh, cool. I'm really grateful that it went 179 on yeah, that we both junk pass. So, yeah, up cool, 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 Hell cool. Yeah. And your mile an hour? Uh, I mean, look, I went 124 mile an hour. What'd you go? I went 128. 128, dude. So That's doing all right. I think rips. Still got a lot to figure out, out here, buddy. Here yeah. Muscles, so yeah. That's pretty impressive. However, I think on spray, you're going to like just, I think you got a lot bigger of a shot than I got. So. Well, but I'm already slower, so it might equal out. We'll all see. Right. Well, let's get a couple more shakedowns. I'm sure you got a lot more in there. And, I'm uh, about to go rip. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm anxious. All right, fellas. So I'm looking at my data log right here. That was about a 5,400 RPM launch. I did not feed her in there. Like, I'm what? We're close. Very. That was really very, hot out. Very too. close. <laughs> I kind of fed the throttle in a little softer. I think I need to slip it a little faster, and it bogged all the way down to 1,400 RPM. So kind of an amazing 60 foot. How considering how bad that that bogged right there. So let's go ahead and, and work on that and see what we can do here. Cuba, I haven't missed you a bit. <laughs> no, it's good to see you down here, buddy. Cool. I want to see what that wagon's going to do, too. Yep. Hopefully it'll run a 10. Yeah, yeah. I was going to put some ethanol in it, but the gas station was far and there was traffic, so I just came here instead. <laughs> Apparently motivation was low. Well, it was like, it had a quarter of a tank, and I was like, all right, so run it with a full tank with E, or run it with a quarter tank that's 93. And then see what it'll do, and then add E.
because that felt like a little bit better 60 foot. Thank you, sir. 71, 60 foot, 10, 9, 0 with a 170, 127, 63. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? I am turning my two step on. I'm struggling with this clutch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta use my tools that I have. So, try and give it a little more hump out the hole with a two step. And then... All right, so you said you just repeated almost exactly the same pass. So what you just did. the same exact pass. Okay. Even though I was trying harder, <laughs> I did not go faster. <laughs> and this guy, good to have this guy in town. Yeah, man. I'll be Definitely looking forward to doing some stuff, man. Florida man. Yeah, we will. Florida, Florida man, man now. now. Yeah. <laughs> I might do another NA instead of. I'll just. I think my night should be fine eventually, so I'm just gonna run another NA. I'm gonna give it to Beans here and see how she does. So okay. we'll see how she goes, man. Well, hell yeah, dude. Congrats. I heard you guys just won a 9 1. So yeah, first pass 9 1. So we're gonna put it back in line, let it cool off, and trying to get that eight. If yeah. We can get it to stay down some more. Oh my gosh, dude. That's like. Up. You're there. But, yeah, I'm excited. What did it trap? Uh, 159. Dude, you're there. That's yeah. that's freaking awesome, man. That was yeah. We didn't know how the tune was gonna be because that was the same tune from Colorado. Okay. So we just wanted to make this first pass, and he said it felt great. So we're just gonna keep sending it. All right, dude. Well, look forward to man. Best of luck to you, yep, man. Thanks, brother. All right. Unfortunately, I wanted to go through the data log. However, uh, did not actually data log. I got a little sidetracked with some stuff here. So, however, tried to repeat what I could. So keep on at it. We're gonna try and spray this run get everything worked out. I'll leave the tire pressure where it's at. Seems to be okay. I'll try and just give it a little bit more slip. All right, fellas. So with the curve that I just put in there, that is nitrous in first gear. So we are going to try that. We're not going to do a lockout. Seems like the track should be holding. So we're going to really try and push it. Thirty one thirty nine. <laughs> Same mile an hour. Yeah, dude. dude. That was seriously impressive, dude. Your sixty foot was like, and your control, dude. Sick. Woo! I was fired up for you, brother. Well, I mean, you. So far, you got me NA. I got you nitrous. But is it time to race? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. All right so we're going no nitrous first run. Yeah. Okay. One one NA pass and then nitrous runs, or what do you? Feel let's like? see how it goes, man. I mean, let's feel it out. Like, I mean, that was a solid. Nitrous pass there, dude. I'm yeah. super fired up for you, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go do it. Dude, nice 60 foot, man. That was. Dude, that felt mm. so good. Yeah. <laughs> Two step. I knew I needed it. Yeah, dude, definitely. <laughs> right. Game changer right there for sure. 
All right, so we gotta be able to work on a 60 foot if we wanna be competitive on nitrous. We gotta get a better 60 foot. There's just no other way we're gonna get this to go faster. I'm definitely gonna turn it up, give it a little bit more, a little faster. But we gotta get, I'm gonna try and give it a little bit more beans when we let it rip. So yeah, this thing came up and it is about this high at about a thousand foot mark. So we're gonna have to, I guess, just thoroughly apply more duct tape. All right, guys, so we're looking at our HP Tuners data log right here. And on that launch, I crept up to about right before I left, about 6,000 RPM. And it only bogged down to right about 2,600. So we're gonna still try and work that a little higher and try and slip it a little bit faster, but we're, we're slowly getting there, guys. Not bad, I overshifted a little bit. RPMs were probably 7,100 or so, I think it was, yeah. Or you see about 7,100, but hey, we're working at it. And I think most of my gear shifts, I was a little bit high, but not bad at all. I think we can improve upon that. So right now I'm trying to feed it a little bit more nitrous. I gave it about another 10 or 15% kind of through right there. And we're hoping that it should uh, average a little bit more power throughout. And in turn, maybe another, maybe two miles an hour would be, would be very, very nice. But we gotta get that 60 foot. So that's where, that's what it's gonna take in order to be cleaner. Dude, that was an epic backfire though. It looked awesome. Yeah, it's like rattling. So I think like one of the just little one of the baffles or something. Yeah, yeah. One of the baffles or something blew out. So. All right. Well, hey man, I'm actually super stoked for the NA run right here. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I I have I'm a shot in the dark here, so I ain't gonna get an NA run, but I'm gonna send it and hopefully. Well, I think if you copy what you just did on spray, <laughs> I think you got me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, the fast I went on no night is 11-0 today, so. We'll see. Yeah, but you got a much better 60 foot now. Once you got that two step, that was a game changer for sure. It was 5,000 for that. It's 5,500 now for the no nitrous steel. Gotcha. All right, fellas, here's the showdown. already dove under it and you didn't see anything yeah, yet like axle wise feels but good. We gotta take a look at the other side but yeah. it definitely just had a big break so it almost sounded like it was you know Yeah, we can see it right now. I can see it on the camera. For so long. 0 0.0103, you say? 0 0.013. Oh, red. So I was just waiting and waiting, and I was like, come on. And I went, and I saw the red light, and I was like, well, they're making a good pass with like 10.6. Dude, killer pass. For killer sure. pass, but I freaking red lit. Yeah. So, if yeah, you, you can duplicate it. that, you got me. Yeah. That, that two step has made all the difference for you. The two step helps a lot. So, you can see if you can fix the Miata, and we're going to try and run again. Cool. Good. Give it our best shot. All right. All right, so we just got this thing pushed over here, and brother, let me tell you, when it rains, it pours. My mirror, as soon as we got here, it just dropped and broke. Dude, I just, it just dropped. Shame. All right, so we're gonna try and get a jack. 
see if we can get out of this thing and try and make a, uh, a really quick repair. What's that? You just slide one of those race ramps over and see it's this Jacko so I don't yeah. kill my friends. It's like, look at this right here. That's definitely, look at that guy. Oh no. Well, I can bend that back in. Yeah, you. that's definitely gotten a ton worse. So yeah, we can do yeah, that. That's sketchy though to go 140 well, on that. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Just found out. Is this ready? No, it's not. This does have a limited slip in it, correct? Yes. Because right now it's a very limited slip. All right, so when I spin this side, the drive shaft spins. That side, nothing. And in regards to Ben's car, I'm super pumped that he got his goal. I mean, we got 1030s pass after pass after pass. That thing was really consistent. I think he had maybe one 1040 out of maybe six passes that night. All right, fellas, so after a short amount of deliberation and looking that the drive shaft was spinning one side and not the other, it became pretty obvious that we have a problem that we're not going to fix right then and there. Just had to quit there. However, all the breakages for the night are not yet done. Hey dude, yeah. that hurt. Holy smokes, dude. Well, it seems like this is a common thing tonight. <laughs> You're pushing your car. Pushing my car. That's how we do. Guys, this whole video was so much fun to make and I had a great time with Garrett. It just keeps getting more fun. We're gonna go ahead and tear down the Miata, find out exactly what went wrong, and we're gonna put it, bring it back and put it back together stronger than before. Please do check out our merch. It definitely helps support my, I guess it's either gonna be a differential or axle fund. Guys, check out our new hat right here. It's even got camo on the bottom. We didn't cheap out here. Camo's classy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Also, a big thing that I've really wanted to do, Uncle Sam coming fresh off his LS Fest burnout victory, I wanted to share with you guys this image right here. We're going to be producing this in a 20 by 30 poster, of which you can pre-order here now. And all the guys in the shop are going to sign it. So check that out. That is going to be something very special that we'll offer. And it is a very, very limited production. Uh, we are putting that on pre-order right now. And those will ship in probably about two weeks. Thank you guys so much for your support. Because without it, we wouldn't be able to do the stupid stuff that we do. Divided we fall, united we stand, guys. God bless you guys. We'll see you next episode. Every morning.